we finally headed to turkey after my husband planned every detail of our trip and me stressing over making my dresses did you know that turkey or turkey is the fourth most visited destination worldwide cuz baby like Once we landed in Istanbul airport and satisfied our hunger we got the Istanbul card from the airport which can be used in bus metro and tram we headed to Kyatane where we have reserved an airbnb The streets in Istanbul are steep and we had an uphill battle for 1.5 kilometers to reach the property. On the contrary, it's going to help burn calories. At least that's what locals like about it. We chose this location since it's close to the metro making commuting effortless. I adore how chic and minimalistic this place is. That's me self-consciously flaunting my airport style. After having some Turkish tea, we are off to explore Istanbul's nightlife. Let me start by saying that I made this corset. Yes, I love to show off my handmade clothing. and i plan to do so the entire trip i can get you so why don't you come to stay cuz baby like oh it's all in the flowers like the sun goes around the day can we for a long day cuz baby like oh it's all in the flowers like We started off with the well-known Turkish tea. I love the deep red color. I'm pretty sure because of the color they serve it in glass container. It tastes a little fruity and has a strong aroma. Did you know that Turkey is the world's largest tea drinking country? I ordered hummus and bread. The server was kind enough to offer two more dips. The hummus was creamy smooth and delicious my husband ordered something which i don't quite remember but he said it was good the waiter also served us free baklava the well known turkish delight although it was tasty my palate finds it to be too sweet following dinner we got on tram to a mosque the famous hagia sophia mosque This was not always a mosque. Once upon a time, it used to be one of the largest cathedral in the world. Later on in our journey, we will come back here during daytime. I'll then share some more interesting facts about this great monument. This is Blue Mosque which is located directly in front of Hagia Sophia. Even this looks stunning. My sweet toothed spouse had to try the Turkish ice cream as soon as we saw it. It was really nice. After strolling for a while, we reached Istiklal Street near Taksim Square. It is the busiest street in Istanbul. I mean, look at it. It's so crowded even at 1 o'clock midnight. It has numerous restaurants, endless shops and art galleries. We stopped at Madu Cafe, tried this yummy dessert and called it a day.
we are heading out on a road trip today my husband is super excited to take a drive through picturesque turkey in order to pick up the car we first went to the airport we were taken aback by how well maintained the car was Since we did not wanted to waste much time we grabbed some croissant coffee at a convenience store and started our journey towards our first destination We arrived at the beautiful village Kumali Kizik in the Bursa region This was Ottoman Empire's first capital who ruled Turkey for more than 600 years this village is therefore older than 600 years we got a sense of what many villages would have been like during the ottoman era from its cobblestone narrow alleys old houses and historical treasures this village is a unesco world heritage site despite the pace of the modern world kumali kizik has managed to stay tucked in a time capsule After going back in time, we stopped at a cafe and had some refreshments and lunch. This felt like Turkish version of cheese paratha. Following a hearty lunch, we headed to another important historical site. We took a gondola ride to get to this ancient city known as Acropolis, which is dramatically located on the highest point of the hill. The Acropolis was founded in 3rd century BC. It was the capital of Greek dynasty. This city had everything: major center of learning, monumental temples, great theater, three-story gymnasium, altar, and the largest library. And it was surrounded by an extensive city wall. After the city was passed to the Romans it became the capital of Roman province of Asia during the Roman period later it was taken over by Ottomans i have fallen in love with history all over again after learning so much about it Following an incredible journey of Greek and Roman architecture, we headed to Izmir. On the way, we came upon some ruins and stopped to look at it. Turns out it is one of the largest Roman architecture still surviving in the ancient Greek world. Romans built this temple to honor Egyptian gods when they began to establish political connections with Egypt. Later on, it was converted into a Christian church dedicated to Saint John. but subsequently it was destroyed now it's just ruins i think my fascination with ruins began after my trip to hampi just when you think it's just another ruin you will discover an intriguing historical tale we are going to spend the night here at izmir and leave the following day We stopped at a restaurant where we had a delicious dinner and tasted Turkish beer. Following that we had a dessert at a lovely place. After a little while of strolling our second day in Turkey came to an end. <laughs> 